Hi guys, Dr. Sean here. Hope everyone's doing okay today. Well, today's topic is something a little, a little fun to me, but it's the most common lies your dentist knows you are telling. There's a lot of lies that patients say, and believe you me, we know all of them. <laughs> so, number one is when they say like that doesn't hurt like we can really tell from a patient's eyes or kind of from their body movements when they flinch or squint that they're in some kind of discomfort or pain so basically you should just tell us when you're in pain so we can actually even give you more anesthetic or make you more comfortable it's just in your benefit as a patient to let us know what's going on when you're in pain and hurting because you don't need to be hurting when you're at the dentist that's what anesthesia is for um, Another common lie is when a patient says, I don't drink sodas or any kind of sugary drinks. Now we can tell this because the acid in these sodas or drinks um, tend to erode the teeth. Okay, so we can see signs of that. So when you say you don't do that or you stop doing that, we can see whether or not that's actually true or not. If you do drink soda because you really can't get rid of that, make sure you try to mix it up with water in between. Another lie is when a patient says, I quit, or stop smoking, or don't smoke. This we can definitely tell first off is because I can usually even smell it through my mask, okay? So if you say you tell me that you're not smoking or you quit smoking, then I'm going to pretty much call you out on it because I can smell it on your clothes, on your hair, on your breath. Um, also, your teeth have smoke stains on it, um, and so it's very, very noticeable. So that's a very easy lie to tell uh, the truth about. But um, with smoking, you should just stop smoking since it's known to cause cancers and period disease and causes a lot of other health issues. So smoking should just be completely stopped regardless. I know a lot of patients have a hard time, but there's different options they can do to slowly wean off those uh, cigarettes. Now probably uh, another very common lie that I hear is when a patient says, I floss regularly. Okay. We can definitely tell when you don't floss regularly, when you have tons of calculus between your teeth, or your gums are inflamed or bleeding, when we just touch them interdentally. So that's a very, <laughs> that's a very common lie that I hear. And um, with flossing, the patient should basically floss at least once a day, particularly at night. Um, it is probably, I would say, the most important part of dental hygiene. So patients out there, you can definitely tell when you're lying about that. Another lie patients say is that I don't grind my teeth. Now this is the most common lie, or maybe they just don't know, that a patient does tell me. I probably hear it at least twice a day, sometimes even three. Um, it's the most common lie, and this is where we can just, we can definitely see that you're grinding. Um, we can see occlusal wear, incisal wear, and I even have a special camera that magnifies to show the internal stress fracture lies of that patient from a patient's grinding or clenching. And so when I show them that, they kind of like are stopped in their tracks, like, oh shoot, you know, you caught me. But um, definitely if you have those signs, you definitely need a night guard from your dentist. It's very important. Um, they say about 80% of the population clenches or grinds their teeth. So I, I personally think everybody should have some kind of night guard to protect, protect their teeth. It just increases the longevity of your teeth. Alrighty, well these are some of the most common lies your dentist knows you're telling. So my recommendation is to always be upfront and honest with your dentist. It is important for us to know all the necessary information so we can properly and best treat you. Well there you go guys. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. Okay, have a great day. Bye guys.